I can honestly say. When it comes to eggnog, to me, I just can't go wrong with some Pennsylvania Dutch. Good old handle. Mm. When I saw eggnog, it made me think of the Santa Claus with Tim Allen. Remember that scene when he was in the Denny's? When he was sat down with his son? She was like, what do you guys have? She goes, I think we're going to have some nice, cold, refreshing eggnog. She goes, we're out. Coffee. I had the movie on in my house, and I don't remember that scene. Either. I just the scene in Denny's. It's I... the beginning scene. Oh, so yeah, even um, more, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I've I've watched that. The... That is one of the the prime movies that I watch in December. Yeah, the movie was on in my house the other day, um, but all I remember obviously is just when he was shaving and then and it, grew right and, it, and it grew right back every time. I yeah. shave in the morning and in the afternoon I look like this. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I've never seen the movie ever. Oh, uh, what? This is the guy from uh, National Lampoon? That's uh, that's the vibe I get. Yes, National, that is uh, uh, the cousin. The cousin, yeah, yeah. yeah. National, uh, yeah, National Lampoon. Yeah. Yeah. All right, so this is supposed to be a spiked eggnog, and when you, it smells almost alcoholic, like vodka almost. I mean, almost oh, like it definitely has that alcoholic like, scent. Like, you're like, did they really spike this coffee? Um, like, but it's definitely almost like they're barrel aged. Yeah. Like when you when you have the barrel aged coffee, it's got that feel to it. That smell. Oh. That's it. Magic trick. Eggnog. So here we go. So bones. Eggnog. Eggnog. Bones coffee. Holiday pack. Hope you guys are having a good holiday. If it is close to the holiday season, is your Christmas shopping done? Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, we got off track. Eggnog. T- tangent. Eggnog. Yeah. Here we go. Mm. So maybe black's not the way to go for me right now because it's definitely it's a spike. It's definitely it's definitely more of the coffee bitters for sure right off the rip. Yeah, let's see it. But. Yeah, there is that, like, eggnog and rum type mixture. Yeah, there's definitely, like, that alcohol taste mm-hmm. in there. Yeah. It could be, like, a rum taste. You actually, yeah, because, hmm. I'm not, this one I feel like I'd ha- if I had uh, coffee and milk in it, it'd probably be better for me right now. But I'm being a uh, milk and good sugar. sport. You can't, you can't put coffee in coffee, bro. Are they bringing coffee? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, as you can see, I guess the night is getting on us here. <laughs> yeah. uh... I mean, do you want to try it with milk and sugar? Maybe that. Nah, nah. I don't, I don't feel like running over there now. I gotcha. So we'll, uh, one more time, I one guess. More time. <laughs> Eggnog, bones, coffee. I think with milk and sugar, this would be absolutely out of the park, which is obvious for bones coffee yeah um, but i i do like it straight up um i think you did capture the flavor very well it does have that eggnog connotation but more of the rum which most people ask for anyway so. yeah I get, I get that aftertaste of like if i had taken a shot of something so yeah you just don't have that heavy cream that's the only thing mm-hmm. that you're missing mm-hmm. and i think with a little bit of milk that would enhance that enhance flavor it, yeah We'll catch you on the next one. Yeah, definitely. (laughs) We are three sips of underscore. And we'll see you guys on the next one. See you next time. Go Eagles.